Hey, this is Sihar from MyHexWorld.com and today we're going to look at some uh, of the advanced uh, so circular reveal stuff like uh, this. I found this uh, prototype on Dribble and I really liked it. So this sign in button, that's the stuff which uh, we're gonna implement today. And uh, let's see what I got. Yeah, so that's uh, so this, that's the second part of my previous uh, tutorial about the circular reveals, where I talk about the very basics like as you see in here and uh, tabs like those so if you're not familiar with the circular reveal go ahead and check that tutorial first and uh, let's get started all right so let's see what we got uh, in our layout first so that's the simple image on the background and the thing here is the button no big deal it's just the yeah it's the, just the shape drawable with the corners round corners and yeah that's it and uh, and that's the frame layout uh, which uh, set the background as a button background I give it an elevation of 4 dp to cast some slight shadow underneath and uh, selectable item background foreground just to give a little ripple effect and in the middle there is a text view and a progress bar which uh, I display after the button is uh, collapsed right so that's uh, that's it with the layout. Let's see if in our activity. Yeah, so there is the on click listener. This method is being called. It has uh, three methods inside animate button width, which uh, basically animates the width uh, of the button. So from uh, 300 dp it uh, collapses to 56, which makes a perfect circle. Then we fade uh, text and uh, show progress dialog and uh, start next activity with the circular wheel of the button. All right, let's see in our first method. So that's the view animator of uh, int starting from the this width and ending with the 56 dp that's just a simple method it returns uh, pixels from dimension you set update listener on it and uh, on each update you change the width of the button get uh, layout parameters and uh, this uh, field is public you just set it and uh, to see the changes you need to uh, you need just to request layout and uh, the whole thing takes uh, 250 milliseconds which I found the perfect time Alright, that's the first animation, and uh, second is uh, fitting out text and showing progress dialog, which uh, takes the same time, 250 milliseconds, and starts uh, simultaneously with the previous animation, which looks uh, perfect. And uh, 
when the text is being fed out, I show the progress dialog. Let's see what is here. Yeah, that's I just set the it to be white and uh, make it visible. After it, it just animates automatically. All right, the third. Yeah, the third is uh, just wait for two seconds. Is uh, like. Basically, since we don't have any stuff to load, we just wait for two seconds. And uh, then I reveal the button, fade out, progress dialog, and uh, start next, next activity. Let's see. So that's the main reveal. Yeah, if you, if you read this uh, tutorial or seen the video, you're probably familiar with the circular reveal, this code. What I'm doing here is, uh, since uh, it has a shadow underneath, I need to, to set the elevation to zero. Otherwise, it wouldn't look like the the button and this reveal is the same view. That's the reveal view, which takes the whole screen. Uh, of the color button. All right, set it visible, and uh, and then I need uh, to to pass starting position, starting x y, and uh, starting radius, and and the final radius, and the whole duration, the whole animation takes three hundred three hundred fifty milliseconds. The final radius is just the maximum dimension of the screen, which is uh, por in portrait, it's uh, height, and I just multiply it uh, 1.2, just to give it a overwhelming feeling, like it uh, goes over the screen, not just stops at this point. Fade out progress dialog is a simple animation, which takes 200 uh, milliseconds. And then delay start next activity, which uh, starts in the middle of the animation because since uh, reveal takes 350 milliseconds, uh, but we don't want to wait till the end of it because it would uh, be just a red screen for a while and it would look horrible. We want it to be very fast. Alright, so let's uh, capture the whole thing. When you click the button, it just uh, collapses using the value animator and uh, setting the width, requesting layout. And then we have the uh, circular reveal. We reveal this view. And that's it. That's just a uh, little part of the of this uh, thing which I'm uh, looking forward to implement the whole thing because it looks amazing I like it I will do the whole thing in the future of course right and uh, if you want uh, to get the, the code and try it yourself go ahead and uh, download the github repository I'll link it down under the video and uh, thanks for watching, take care.